The city of Greenville's food scene will be expecting a huge change after city leaders moved one step closer to allowing food trailers within city limits. Carlos Flores spoke with a food trailer owner about how this new ordinance will open up a whole new world of food. He joins us live now with the details, Carlos. Nigel Sydney, soon people here in the city of Greenville will have a chance to try a whole new range of food if city council approves an ordinance to allow food trailers within city limits. I spoke to one local food trailer who tells me it's been a, it's been years in the making. The chef on the run food trailer has been serving the upstate for five years now. The husband and wife duo wanted to bring Mediterranean food to the area, but put their own spin on it. Most of everything we do is, of course, we do it ourselves. Like, But they could never serve people within Greenville city limits, since they were considered a food trailer, not a food truck. You have to go out city limit, you have to go to different cities, or sometimes even a state to go and get some business done. So why do people like Caesar choose a trailer versus a truck? Trucks. Yes, they're wonderful, you know, it's easy to go in and out, but um, the cost of maintaining the truck is very high. And um, we have a couple of friends that they had to just stop doing what they're doing uh, because the truck is not working, they can't get, the, get it repaired. U.S. Food says the food truck trailer industry has grown to be a $2 billion business. And Caesar says word is already starting to spread that new options might be coming to the city of Greenville. I can't even tell you how many emails I got already uh, to book to serve downtown city limits. So it, I think it's going to, at least it's going to double. While she's happy that food trailer owners will have more business, she's even happier knowing that people can experience all kinds of foods. To the, to the downtown city, it will be, I think it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for everybody. Not only for the trailers and the trucks, but for everybody that wants to come and get a taste of different cuisines. Greenville City Council passed the first reading of this ordinance unanimously, and Caesar's hoping for the same result at its second and final reading. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.